Hazan McGinn jealous rage. Queen snubs Lily to bestows great privilege Lena Tyndall on birthday. Zara and Mike Tyndall shared a glimpse of the birthday of their daughter Lena who turned four this Saturday. The royal couple have been busy preparing for the birthday celebrations apart from visiting the Royal Ascot event this week. On the big day, doting father Mike shared an insight into the celebrations as they stood in a wide open area surrounded by dozens of colorful balloons. Although their full plans for Lena's birthday aren't known, the event will probably be held at their home on the Gatcom Park estate, where they live close to Zara's brother Peter, his daughters and mother Princess Anne and her husband, Sir Timothy Lawrence. As well as young Lena, Zara and Mike are parents to Mia, eight, and one-year-old son Lucas. In a social media post Mike shared, he also gave an insight into some potential Ascot fashion he might style next year as he posed in Zara's striking hat. He joked in the caption, How could I have forgot this one from yesterday? We have already started planning for next year at Ascot Race Course. Fans enjoyed the photos shared, and many wanted to wish the young royal a happy birthday, as one posted, Happy birthday to Lena. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry being banned from having a photographer take pictures of the Queen with their daughter was a bitter pill to swallow, a royal expert has claimed. Lilibet, who recently celebrated her first birthday, is believed to have been introduced to her great-grandmother for the first time during the Platinum Jubilee celebrations on June 2nd. The Sussexes were apparently keen to bring a photographer to the pair's first face-to-face -face meeting at Windsor Castle but the request was denied, reports The Sun. Royal biographer Christopher Anderson has now described the photo ban as a bitter pill to swallow, recalling how the couple's son Archie was pictured with the Queen at two days old back in 2019. The couple will have more to celebrate next month, as they mark 11 years since tying the knot in Edinburgh. On the day, Zara wore a precious Greek tiara that belongs to her mother, Princess Anne. The something borrowed piece consists of a brilliant cut diamond surrounded by a glittering wreath. It originated in Greece's royal family, with Prince Philip's mother Alice gifting the tiara to Queen Elizabeth II, and the Queen subsequently passed it on to her daughter, Anne. Last week, Zara and Mike Tyndall led the royals at Ascot as racegoers came out in force for Ladies' Day. Mr. Anderson, who wrote Brothers and Wives, a book detailing Prince Harry and William's relationship, told Royal E.U.S., we now know that the Queen, well, the men in grey who really handle things, would not permit the Queen's photograph to be taken with Lilibet. That spoke volumes, it was a really bitter pill for Meghan and Harry to swallow. You have to remember, Archie was photographed with the Queen, and Prince Philip, and Doria Ragland when he was two days old. It's a tradition to be photographed with the monarch when you're a grandchild or a great-grandchild. But this was a really different feeling. Harry and Meghan returned to California without a snap, with members of the royal family reportedly concerned that pictures of the Queen and Lilibet taken by the couple's photographer could be shared with U.S. television networks. The Sussexes were noticeably absent from the limelight during the Platinum Jubilee celebrations and were spotted sitting several rows behind Prince Charles and Prince William during Friday's service of Thanksgiving at St. Paul's Cathedral. They were kept at arm's length by the royals during the celebrations and left without any public appearances alongside the Queen, Charles, Camilla, William or Kate. Harry and Meghan's low profile over the weekend meant they attended without Netflix cameras in attendance. The couple reportedly left the UK prior to the conclusion of the final events marking the Queen's 70 years on the throne. As the £15 million Platinum Jubilee pageant finale got underway outside Buckingham Palace on June 5, the Sussexes had already driven away from Frogmore Cottage.